three. Hello, Hollywood Times viewers. Today, we have an awesome guest with us, the greatest dog psychology <laughs> guru in the world, also known as the dog whisperer, Caesar Milan. Hey, Caesar. How are you guys? How are you? How are you? Nice to see you. Thank you so much for, for the opportunity to speak about this incredible thing we have going on. Yes, this incredible thing Caesar is talking about is called Halo. Mm -hmm. So Caesar, why don't you just tell us how you developed this? What's it all about? Well, first of all, it's the understanding what Halo already means for us, right? So when your mom gives you blessings, she wants she wants you to have a Halo around you so you stay safe, peace, and love. So you find good people in your life, so your your life goes in the right path. So it's a Halo, right? So, so the, the premises or the, or the concept of, of, of this uh, technology that we came out is because we all are part of a certain halo, right? So when you have calm confidence, you projecting a halo. When you have this kind of a certain energy like love, you project a halo love, right? Or when you're a very happy person, your, your aura, as people call it, your aura is, is a joyful aura. Well. Our dogs, in order for, for our dogs to behave, they need to feel three things. They need to feel safe, they need to feel peace, and they need to feel love. That's where they're standing. So whatever your dog stands, the energy in that environment needs to tell him or her, safe, peace, and love. Then, then you, the human, you need to let them know that you are here to provide calm, confidence, love, and joy in that order. I'm very specific with orders because Mother Nature has, an, has a law. So I don't, I don't break the law of nature, right? So then the number three layer that you need is exercise, discipline, affection. Those are the needs, right? So a dog needs exercise. A dog needs mental stimulation. And a dog also, of course, needs affection. But it's not number one. My clients like to begin with affection first. But they're my clients. So they are, So what I'm trying to say is there is an order or a formula that if you follow, dogs will feel inside a halo. Just like when homeless people walk their dogs. Homeless people walk the dogs off leash. So why can a homeless in America walk a dog off leash and a human with a job in a house can't? Really? Never thought of that. Right? So yeah. why the dog stays so close to the human without a leash? Yeah. Exactly. So they are actually unconsciously practicing this formula that I'm telling you. They don't have a home, they don't have a banking account, and they don't have a job. But they have a good halo. That's awesome. That's so because my clients have a home, a job, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and have, they have pretty much the American dream. What they forget is the halo part. So technology, like, like, a, like a phone, helps you to connect, communicate, and have a relationship. Connection, communication, relationship, right? So in order for you to have an off-leash experience, your dog needs to trust, respect, and love you. And that becomes the off leash. Makes sense. So any technology or any tool that I make or be I'm part of it, it's with the concept of environment, energy, and activities. Because that's what's going to make the dog feel safe, respected, and loved. Now, that dog is going to be off leash because he spiritually, emotionally, and mentally knows what to do. So my technology is going to give you back the connection to mother nature. So that's how, that's how Halo is one of the best dog training products based on what you just explained. Well, it's, it's more for a human training product. Okay, human. Yeah, because the dog needs to wear it, and, and, and uh, it's just for you to know, you know, how far boundaries, because people don't know how to set boundaries. People don't know how to set rules. People don't know how to set limits. So imagine a country with, with his uh, population 
and the people don't have boundaries, rules, and limitations. It's an out of control society. Okay, so the dog society is out of control because they don't have good rules, boundaries, and limitations, and the human do not exercise enough. Right? Tired dog is a happy dog. Uh, rules by limitations is what you're going to call a well-behaved dog. So as simple as that, it's not, for, it's not for the dog. The dogs know how to do it. It's just the human is so disconnected because it's more connected to technology. So a, a three-year-old kid will know how to use a phone, not walk a dog. Where I'm from, as soon as you're walking, you're taking care of something, some kind of animal. I'm from a farm. Right? So farm kids, we don't know this. We know nature. We know how to plant, we know how to help, and we know how to take care of animals. We don't even think of that. We, we get a dog and it's like, okay, we have to go to work. You stay home, we'll see you. We'll walk you for a little bit and then we're gonna be busy watching TV. Yeah, I can see where all this makes so much sense because I was reading about your Halo product. What I was fascinated by is the smart fencing concept. Can we talk about that? That's well, amazing. Listen, um, um, I mean, America is beautiful, but people do not take the dogs to areas where they're allowed, you know, uh, such as certain beaches, certain mountains, certain open areas. A dog is not meant to be inside the house 24 seven. That's, that's just a, not a happy life, okay? It, it, that's, not, that's not their goal in life to live in this beautiful home, but they don't go out. Right now, people that are going through COVID, they're going crazy, but they actually can can uh, can, can can empathize with a dog before COVID. Because dogs are been living how we live right now with COVID, behind walls, long period of time. That is so true. You see what I'm saying? So I love, listen, I'm very respectful of the people that have gone through such a hard time with COVID. But at the same time, I'm this kind of, the type of human that turned negative into a positive, right? Because the whole world now can empathize with the dog because COVID is, is worldwide. It's not just in one part of the world, it's worldwide. So because COVID, people have become an agreement. An agreement is what changed the world. It's that only word can make world transformation. So now with COVID, you talk about three things. Watch your hands, put your mask, social distance. The whole world knows the same three steps. You see it? So that means if we all change our habits, our belief systems, and, and become more and develop more empathy towards a dog, our dogs will go back to their natural way of being. And Caesar, right now, a lot of people are. I say, unfortunately, getting dogs because they're home. But what happens when they go back to work? Their dog has gotten attached to them. They're spending time. And then when we go back to work, our dogs are going to be left again. How do people yeah. handle this? Well, your product, is it something good to get now to yeah. train them before they go back in the real world? I always say I train people. I always <laughs> say I train yeah. people to rehabilitate dogs. Yes. So people used to say before COVID, I don't have time. I don't have time to work for a prayer for time, Caesar. I don't have time to invest in my dog's well-being. I don't have time. That's not truth, right? Because uh, everybody has time for what they really want. That's that's just human uh, excuses. Um, so with the with the with the tool with the, with the Halo, we 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 can we're gonna guide you, so you can regain your home back. So your home have rules, boundaries, and limitations. So one thing that people have to learn to practice inside the house is not to let the dog go to three, three specific places in the house. Your bedroom, the kitchen, the kitchen, and, and, where, and, and, the, uh, and where you sit to watch TV. The dog have to learn to be invited because if he doesn't get invited, he's invading. And the, and the more... And the more the dog makes decisions in your house, the less you can detach. Separation anxiety comes because the dog doesn't know how to give social distance. That makes so much sense. 
So if, if your dog follows you 20 times inside the house, which they follow you more, make sure 10, he doesn't follow you. So that actually helps you when you go to work because then they say, ah, so this is one of those 10 where the human wants a space. So, and then the dog goes into a resting state. He goes into a waiting state. So him or her understanding distance makes them practice three things, waiting, patience, relaxation. But if a dog doesn't know how to detach in, and then you, you go away, his brain doesn't know how to do it. So they develop anxiety because you never told the brain, turn it off and relax. So will so, Halo help us with that? Yes, exactly. Exactly. Rules, boundaries, limitations. Rules, so it's going to help you with rules. If I'm not in the kitchen, if I didn't invite you in the kitchen, don't go in the kitchen. So then the dog will say, the dog will know that when the human is not there and when the human does not invite, kitchen is off limits. That's a rule. Or trash cans. Okay? Remember, the kitchen is the equivalent of banks. For the human, banks are very tempting because money. Uh, for a dog, the kitchen is very tempting because it's food. Keep the nose away from the kitchen. And that makes them respectful. You see it? The bedroom, your bedroom, that's the bedroom is where you practice your highest level of relaxation. So you have to let him know when to come into your bedroom because that's when you practice the highest level of relaxation. So he, his brain has to learn to wait, to be told where he's going to sleep because if you don't tell him, they will choose whatever spot you, he wants. And then you're going to sleep like this. You see it? Then what happens there is he control a sleeping habits and a sleeping place. Yes, you're supposed to sleep with the pack, but you're also supposed to claim where you sleep. Reversed, the human. Well, it's just practice rules. Yeah. You understand? Listen, people with their husband, women with their husband, they don't have a problem telling the husband, go sleep somewhere else. But with the dog, they cater to the dog. And then the dog end up controlling the female in the house. You, you see? You see? So a, a, a female, a, my clients, 80% of my clients are women. 80. And they have no problem telling the husband, get out of the bed. Sleep on the couch. But not the dog. Yeah. You see? I see that, yeah. Yeah, so then the dog see it in a completely different way. He doesn't see it emotionally. He sees it as, uh, as I'm claiming the space and you're sleeping with me. And on top of that, you give me hugs and kisses. But I am the leader of this ritual. So they become overprotected to the point that the husband can't come to the, I done so many cases where the husband can't come in the bedroom because the dog and the wife already in the bed. And, uh, <laughs> and of course she feels good because she said, it's because he loves me. But, but there's a separation <laughs> of the family, it's confusion. Yeah. You know what I mean? You don't think of that. You don't nope. think of it though. Nope. The, I didn't and, think of it. <laughs> and you said it, and you said it in a way, people right now are getting a lot of dogs. Do you, you know what they're getting a lot of dogs? Because the human is bored, feels lonely, yeah. and emotionally needs some kind of balance, yeah. right? But it's not because I want a relationship. The human is doing it because the human feels lonely, is bored, right? And, 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 and it needs to, somebody needs to tell them they, that, that they love them. So it's a beautiful thing, but we're doing it for the wrong reasons, right? So listen, let's keep a dog in people's home. That's a great thing for shelters, yeah. right? Because uh, never in the history of America or the world, humans have turned into a shelter to, to help. Yeah. But they were not prepared. Right, that's what I'm afraid of. So, so with the halo, you, you're going to be prepared because you need a tool to help you stable, establish rules, balance, limitations. The only dog that you don't want in your home is the one who doesn't follow rules, balance, limitations. Because you're going to describe him, he doesn't listen, 
he destroys, he's antisocial. See it? And then, but people don't realize that they made him that way. So they're going to so, blame the dog. Yeah, and he gets punished for something he didn't do. First, he res first the human rescue him, then the, pun the human punish him. So I want to prevent this from happening. We need to have the knowledge. We need to understand how to work with, with, with uh, tools. And we need to understand philosophy. And, and the number three is repetitions. And we have time for that now. We have time for that. And make sure if you're a family with children, make sure the kids participate. Because for some reason in, in, uh, in American uh, households, the kids don't participate in the leadership of dogs or, or, or picking up poop. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I got the dog for the kids. And then the kids, because they don't know responsibilities, they just give the responsibility to the mom. So make sure, make sure you understand the, the pack concept. The whole pack helps because that's, his, that's another halo. It has nothing to do with technology. That has to do with family. See it? So if all the humans in the house represent authority figure in love and friendship, we're going to be good. There you go. And this, this is the perfect time. This is the, this is the Christmas is coming. It's like next week. What a great gift to get for a family gift to take care of the dog. So he will be your best friend until death do you part. I mean, that's what we need. So how can our viewers uh, get Halo? How do we find out about it? Go well, Halo.com. They can go into Halo.com and just get, get there. But most important for me, it's not so much that, 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 I, that I create things, but I'm, it, to me, it's my, it, the education. So, I, so make sure that people follow this 21-day, because to create a habit, you need to do it for many, many, many days. And it's only 21 days that you need to stick to the program. It's, it's three weeks, okay, in order for you to invest for the rest of his life. So uh, people quit day one or oh, um, Week one or week two, all the gyms in all the gyms in America, uh, people go to the gym at the, in the first week, second week they're sore and then they quit. <laughs> yes. So it stayed. It stayed the three weeks. No matter what you do, anything that is new takes twenty-one days to build a habit. Okay, that's the most important part. Because I do want people to say this is the best investment I ever done in my life for my dog and for me to the point that I learned so much about me that I can teach my kids, my neighbors, my community, how to have a halo. Because imagine all the dogs in America, all the world, and they all understand the same agreement. See, once you see the halo color, okay, that dog knows rules, bounds, limitations. Okay, that human understand the 21 day program. So now you be, you're going to be able to, to, uh, to, to have a community yeah. with halo dogs. Right now, if you see a Rottweiler, people will go, oh, my God, that's a Rottweiler. But if he has a halo collar, that's a halo Rottweiler. There you go. Yeah, that makes it a lot, you know, or you see a pit bull, which scares everybody. And they're the most beautiful and amazing smart dogs ever. It's not the breed. It, listen, it's not the race of a human that makes a human who he is. It's where he's from, his parents, and his activities. That's who we are. Race is just an outfit. Just like a breed of a dog is his outfit. It's a cultural background. Uh, what amazes you the most every day about dogs? Well, this, they, they're natural, simple, profound, right? So money, fame, and power, they don't care. They care about natural, simple, and profound activities. The spirit, the heart, and their instincts. So when you don't have anything, when you don't like, it's like homeless people. The reason why homeless people are so successful is because they're not focusing on money, fame, and power. They're focusing on natural, simple, profound. So this is your halo. You see it? This is not your halo. This is uh, an invention by human. This is an invention by mother nature or God. 
you've also talked about like how did you determine the calm, assertive, and energy of dogs? You have that too. Well, not not it's not on the dog, it's more on the human, because in order for you to be seen as an authority figure, you need to command leadership. Right? Like in the elephant world, the female, one of the female is the pack leader. So yeah, so in the elephant, the female is the pack leader. And the, um, in the wolf world is the male is the pack leader. In the human world, now women can be pack leaders, meaning presidents of United States. Now, now, not before. You see it? So calm confidence means leadership, direction, protection. Give direction with calmness. Give protection with confidence. That's what it means. Calm, confident, love, joy. Um, so that's kind of how we become uh, uh, a parent of an assertive pack leader. We have to follow those rules, right? So we can become a assertive pack leader. Because we're the leader. I mean, we got a pack of dogs, right? Whether well, we have two or three. To. You're supposed to. We're supposed to be, right? Yeah. You know, even in the car racings, you know, when people are driving cars, they're supposed to lead the car. Formula yeah. One, Formula One, those guys are calm, confident. They can't drive a car nervous. You understand? Yeah. So even a machine, you need to have calm confidence. Can you imagine an animal? That's the only energy they see as leadership. Their mom is calm, confident. Their dad is calm, confident. Their uncle is calm, confident. So anything that is older than him on a puppy world, they're always going to give them calm, confidence first. There's just, you know, we love our dogs, but boy, there's, there's there are a lot of work, you know, to make sure. No, it's do, you not. Think, do you think that it's a lot of work? No. No? You're just doing it backwards. Yeah. Yeah. It's because people are doing it backwards. That's a lot of work. When you're doing it backwards, it's a lot of work. So that, yeah. do, you, do you believe that we can train any type of dog, a yeah. rescue dog? What's the hardest thing to train a dog to do? The human. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, when I worked with Oprah, Sophie was 11 years. 11. 11? Sophie was 11 when I changed her aggressive way of being because for 11 years, Sophie was aggressive with Oprah, not towards her, but to the dogs around Oprah. No, it's not the dog. Never. Sometimes, sometimes the dogs are not compatible to people's home. So that, that could be a, a problem right there. Yeah, sometimes some people are not compatible to you either. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so it's the energy of that person that is not compatible. It doesn't mean you shouldn't have a dog. You should have, it's three levels of energy, low, medium, high. If the dog is higher than you, it's not compatible. So what does someone do with a, a rescue dog that is who, who barks all the time? Excessive barking. But, but you have to understand why is it doing it? It's not normal. Right. So, and then the human has to go into, into, okay, what is it that I'm not doing that this dog feels the need to bark? Okay. Do I'm exercising? Okay. How long? Because if that human is only doing 15, 20 minutes, it's not enough. Okay. So that's energy from the body. So if it's energy from the body, then he has to get it out. So he's going to get it out by barking or digging or chewing. <laughs> Energy has to get out. Right? If, if a dog doesn't have mental stimulation, he's going to be bored out of his mind. So he's going to bark. He's going to destroy. You see it? So the body and the mind. So how do you address a barking dog? You need to see what is it that you're not doing. Not what he's doing. It's what the human is not doing. Uh, Caesar, I always wanted to ask you, uh, how did you become the dog whisperer? Did you know you had this gift when you were young, around the farm? 
Well, I knew I had the passion. I knew I wanted to be the best dog trainer. I was 13 when I declared I wanted to be the best dog trainer. Where there was no dog trainers in the world, um, you know, at this level. I wanted to be the first one. It's like it's like the guys, the 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 guys, the astronauts. I want to be the first man that goes to the moon, right? So I want to be the first guy who's be the best dog trainer in the world. So I came to America thinking that I was going to learn from Americans because I grew up watching Last Team Ring Team Team. So I thought that all dogs in America were just like Last Team Ring Team Team. And then I realized that all 95% of the households in America have no idea what they were doing. So I said, I'm going to open a center where I train humans and rehabilitate dogs. So that different way of thinking uh, made me become the dog whisperer. You have changed many humans. Millions. Many more, <laughs> right? And I'm doing a show right now where people are coming to my ranch. And now you see the magic of a land and animals, not just the guy, but the land and the animals working with me. Okay, so can we submit our, our dogs to come and see you who need who we need help season. with the dog? For next season, yeah, right now we're complete. But for next I season- I have one for you. Yeah, um, definitely, definitely. You guys are gonna um, I just- if I could get his picture. Where are you, Cody? Are you laying there? Where are you? Can you Where's barely Cody? see him? Cody, Cody, say hi. Say hi. Yes, there he is. <laughs> he's a plot hound and he's the barker. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what you asked that question. Yes. <laughs> so also, Caesar, uh, your sons, Calvin and Andre, are they following you in your footsteps? Well, Calvin had a show. Andre did a show with me, Dog Nations. Yeah. It's, this is a family thing. I'm a um, I'm a pack oriented, family oriented. Is it is it a culture? Is it a uh, because I love dogs so much? Whatever it is, I do everything in a pack. You know what I mean? I I, I come from that uh, old fashioned way where everything is done with family. Nowadays, people separate more, but back in the days, it was all about the family. You know, so I, I'm keeping that tradition. Do you know, uh, have you read anything about dogs contracting COVID? COVID? No? Which Thank is a good God thing. God. Yes. Because yeah. oh. we can be out with our dogs. <laughs> yeah. That's what I hear you know, where I live. As a lot of people, they, they have become a lot more, more friendly to each other <laughs> because they have to take the dog out more often. And, yeah. and so the dogs can relate. And so you can see the people are like, oh, I'm happy at least my dog can be social. So what type of dogs are in your family pack? Well, right now we have a variety. We always have a variety, but right now we have a, a Georgia Terrier, a, 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 a Pomeranian, a Chihuahua mix, a Dachshund mix, a Junior, who's a pit, Bear, who's a German Shepherd, Audrey, who's a Mastiff, a Talia, who's a Mud as well. And then we have birds. We have three Perfect. birds. Yeah, we have a Toucan, we have a, a Macau, and we have a Lorikey. And you rescue the, the birds, right? All of them. All of them are rescue. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You can pretty so, much you can rescue tigers if you want in America. No. <laughs> that would be. Can. But you can't. You can't. You know what I mean? Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Would you ever yeah. consider something like that? No. No. Yeah. They're not meant. They should be wild. That's where they should be in the wild. Not. <laughs> so what kind of adventures and activities do you do? That you enjoy with your pack adventures activities right now because junior is 15 uh we do a lot of beach we go to the beach. besides the ranch obviously the ranch is incredible it's magical but he knows it you know too well yeah so i have to change the scenery for him you know and that's just something that i do with elder dogs i make sure that they they their their uh their their last time on earth uh yeah. they get to uh definitely go to new places or their favorite places besides my house and the ranch. Yeah, so you take them to the beaches where you, they can have dogs or, or yeah. the mountains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we go, we, we have to travel far away because I bring a pack. <laughs> he doesn't just go by himself. I bring a pack. Oh, you bring the whole pack? Yeah. How many do you travel with when you do Ten. that? Ten. <laughs> Ten? Yes. <laughs> now, are they all on leashes or are they off leash? 
I'm the dog whisperer. Off leash. Yeah. All off leash. <laughs> now the Halo product will help us to have our dog off leash. <laughs> so at least bring one. <laughs> yes, yeah. You need to understand boundaries, right? So once the dog understands the boundaries, he runs, but he doesn't run too far. Because that's that's a that's a lot of times where people like they're, they're scared. Once they take the dog off leash, they're scared that the dog is gonna go too far and he's gonna get lost. You know, so that's the biggest fear for people. You know, <laughs> I go, see Sarah, no, no, no. I'd rather go to a dog park because it has fences. Right. So the fences at a dog park is the boundary, but it's yeah. a physical fence and you're very limited, right? right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. limited. With, with Halo, it's limitless. It's, it's really the normal way, you know, the natural way, like homeless. They go wherever they want. I, I work in L, downtown LA and I see homeless with dogs and, and they're walking right with them and you, you people want to touch them and the dog doesn't even want to be around you. It's it's amazing. And, and I think, how come they don't have leashes? They people can't afford a leash. They do. Yeah. It's, it's trust, respect, love. I know. I never thought of that. It's the invisible. It's, it's the real one. It's the real mm -hmm. one. Yes. It's, and Halo, will, Halo will, uh, is the goal for me is that you use it so you can develop and reconnect. Yeah. You reconnect to trusting your dog. You reconnect to your dog respecting you. And of course, loving is never a problem in America. America loves dogs like I've never seen before. In America, dogs get to have birthday parties. In America, <laughs> dogs have Santa brings gifts to, to dogs in America. <laughs> That's, you know what I mean? That, that doesn't happen all over the world. <laughs> Wow, that's true. People are taking their dogs out and getting pictures with Santa. Well, now they can't go out as much. So, you know. Yeah. Well, folks, it sounds like this halo is something that we all have to uh, try. And as Caesar said, you must take 21 days to uh, to go through the whole course to, to better us with our dogs. Yeah. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. Don't just buy tools and don't know how to use them because everybody, listen, I, I go to people's home all the time. They have every single tool. Petco, they sell everything, da, 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 right? Or PetSmart, they sell all of them, but they don't know how to use it. So they think if they change the tool, the behavior will change. No, your knowledge first, then the strategy, and then is the repetitions. It is easy. Forward to trying Halo, and we will have another discussion in a month or so to prove out there that it works. Right, hey. Halo. <laughs> <laughs> you have any last words for us, Caesar? Uh, happy, happy holidays. Be safe. Be peaceful. Be loving. Uh, definitely find trust, respect, and love. Body, mind, heart. Life is simple. We make it complicated. Dogs are here not to make our life more difficult or anything like that far from it they live in the moment uh, pursuit of happiness unconditional love honesty all the great moral values honesty integrity loyalty that's what a dog represents it's free for everybody you don't have to have a lot of money power or famous uh, homeless people have dogs so that just tells you that a dog is willing to have a relationship with whoever wants it you know, so it's no need to feel depressed. There's no need to feel alone. There's no need to feel anxious. There's no need to feel angry. I think uh, nature has done uh, her, made her point with, with COVID, even if it's influenced by human in some shape or form. We can turn, we can turn this, this message from mother nature and say, well, let's work together. Let's get rid of toxicity. Let's live in the moment and let's move forward into the future, being a better humans for a better planet. Those are great words to live by. Well, we wish you happy holidays and thank, thank you. you so much for taking time. We know how busy you are. And let, can you talk about your show really quick? When is that coming on? It's coming in April. Oh, in April. So right now, actually, we stopped shooting yesterday. We already have five episodes and we're about to start doing the five and once we come back. And then we get to work on, uh, on, uh, on you know, uh, interviews and stuff like that. But super excited. What's you know, the new show called? Right now it's called Caesar's Way. Caesar's Way. And who but, you know, all titles yeah. change all the time. So right now it's called Caesar's Way. And I'm, I'm, I'm excited about it because people know that I follow a different way. Wow. And where can we see it? What channel? Who's going to be carrying it? 
Nat Geo, baby. Nat Geo. That's it. Oh, Nat Geo. That's what I thought. <laughs> I'm part of the Disney pack. I'm part of the Nat Geo pack. Yeah. You know, that's my home. Yeah, we love it. Well, we look forward to, to seeing that. And hopefully we can reconnect here or talk a little bit more in Halo in the next couple of months. See how it's going for you. All right. Thank you for taking the time, Caesar. <laughs>